All right, this one's especially for all those millennials watching the show. The popular Canadian barter platform Buns wants in on the crypto craze. Buns has launched its own digital currency called Bits that can be used to buy things on the platform if you don't have the right item to trade. Moreover, these bits can also be used to purchase items in a number of stores across Toronto. For better understanding on the workings of this new digital currency, we're joined by Bun's CEO, Sasha Moshtahedi. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming back in. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, first of all, bits. Is it a cryptocurrency? Is it a digital currency? What, what actually is it? So it's, it's a reward system uh, that you can use on the application. So right. uh, users can earn bits by... Uh, inviting friends to buns or posting on buns um, and as they earn these bits they can use them at a peer-to-peer -peer level to transact with each other right. and they can also use them in stores. Now they're not fully cent decentralized yet. So they're, they're not actually cryptocurrency, it's not on the blockchains? Not yet, no. So okay. we're, we're working through that process to, to begin to translate everything over to blockchain. But you want to move it, so right now it's basically a rewards program Correct, like yes. Arrow Miles or Canadian Tire Money. You want to move it over to crypto, why? Uh, it, decentralization represents the opportunity to kind of create a new model in the way we look at distributing value that companies create. Um, and for us, it's really about finding ways for our community to benefit at a localized level, be it as individuals or as stores. And cryptocurrencies create an opportunity to kind of facilitate that, that kind of transaction. Right. But more fundamentally, at the most basic level, at the application layer, Buns has a number of kind of... Uh, de facto uh, ways that they transact and like typically people use gift cards and right, uh, right. subway tokens and tall cans and those which is kind of a way around the rule that you have to barter right this yeah. would keep it sort of in ecosystem is that the idea yeah and it acts as a medium of exchange right. um, and so this is kind of another medium of exchange that we're introducing that can have really serious uh, and strong benefits for the community. And so that, that's why we're doing that. The flip side of it, though, is we've seen cryptocurrencies are so volatile yeah. right now. And their value, I mean, you know, the, I was just looking, the Canadian value of a Bitcoin is at 8400 bucks. Right. It was at, I think, 20000 Canadian at right. some point, 19000 American. You know, the, how do you, isn't it just easier for both the members and the company? I mean, you guys are dealing with a million people in your entire ecosystem, including the Facebook page. What do you got, 200,000 200, people in your app alone? Right, yeah. How do you make sure that they're better served by something that is so volatile when just some kind of a currency like you're using now might actually take a lot of that volatility out of it? Yeah, so I think um, there's two pieces to that. One is like volatility comes from speculation right. um, and the ability to purchase tokens, which you can't do on buns right now. You can't foreign okay. exchange the tokens out and you can't buy the tokens. Uh, you can only earn them. And we did that very intentionally. Um, so that's one piece. And I think secondly, when it comes to the volatility of other cryptocurrencies and tokens, I think there's a lot to learn from how um, we structure our token and our cryptocurrency as we make it available fully decentralized uh, to ensure that the 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 community and the businesses that, that use this token um, are, are kind of using a medium of exchange that they're comfortable with and that, that benefits them and, and it doesn't have as much volatility potentially. And, I mean, who's driving this? Did, did your users say, hey, Sasha, this isn't working, me going in and buying all these stupid subway tokens and needing to change those? Right. Like, who, how, where did this idea come from? So, yeah, so I think um, as we kind of did a bunch of work with the data uh, that the community produced as a result of interacting with each other, I mean, we've done over a million transactions now. Right. Um, and so I think that gave us insight into where the pain points were uh, in the interaction and the transaction. And I think a lot of people, um, so I think it's inference and, and it's, it's, it's an inference and a hypothesis based right. on the data and information that we've collected from our community and the voices of our community members. Sure. And there's always people on one side of the fence that say like, hey, this, you know, this is a cryptocurrency. Are you going to benefit immensely from this as an individual or is this really for us? And I think so there's always... Which is kind of the debate around cryptocurrencies in general, yes. isn't it? Yeah. And I think, so I think there's been a lot of... Um, yes, I, I agree that like the vast majority of the conversation has been focused on the value that's created. But right. I think the question is, is, can we translate that value to our community? Um, and if we can, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing, but wouldn't it also then almost immediately create a secondary market for those coins that would set a different price from it than might be on the website? That it, if they're worth something on a website, right. people would start to trade them in right. a secondary market, which yeah. then sort of bypasses the entire reason for it existing in the first place. Right, yeah, so yeah, I think that that, that and that's why intentionally we chose to uh, limit the number. Lim well, limit the ability for right. the, to, that's it's not a token and it can't be traded on foreign exchanges yet. Right. And when it is an ERC twenty or an ERC two two three, whichever we you know best specifications we choose to go with, I think like at that time we'll, we'll have to navigate that in a way that offers the stability that our users will want out of it, but also you know, sort of. 
And is the uh, so is the the token currency that's not crypto, the digital currency, is it available now? And when do you expect to switch over? Yes. So yeah. So if you download the app, you can activate your wallet. When you activate right. your wallet, you enter your PIN and you get a thousand bits for 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 activating your wallet. Right. If you invite a friend, it's a buddy system. So like right. I invite you, you get five hundred bits, I get five hundred bits, and we can both spend it either with other people or at stores. Um, so that, that's in market today. You can actually download the Buns app for Android or iOS and do that. So when does it switch over? So when do you hope to do that? So I think that the token is, will be established likely within the next 30 to 60 days. And oh, okay, the 60 so to 90 day period will be actually fully cutting over to a blockchain infrastructure. Right, we'll be watching. Thank you very much. Nice yeah. to have you in. Thanks Thank for you. doing yes, this. Yeah. Sasha Moshe is the CEO of Buns.